When the Arbery case became part of the larger national reckoning on racial injustice, it sent shockwaves across America and also here in the Wiregrass. With some local reaction now to today's verdict, WDHN's Cody Giles joins us live in the newsroom. Cody. Amanda, of the people that I spoke with, one of which was a public official, they were all relieved about this verdict, even knowing that there may be a longer road ahead. It also serves as a, a sigh. We're not done, um, but I really pray that we all come together some type of way, that we can just stop seeing each other as white and black. We can just see each other as Americans. When another brother kills another brother, man, we're all impacted by that and not just by the color of the skin. Even though the motion of social justice took a step forward today, according to some, there are still a few more steps. I wouldn't have been celebrating because, again, justice is long term. We can't, you know, celebrate one incident or two incidents. It has to be a repetitive thing. It has to be where anytime these situations happen, whether it's white on black, black on black, black on white, whatever the case is, justice has to be blind. And even though this case is coming to a close, some believe it's what happens down the line that really matters. You're either part of the problem or you're part of the solution. And just don't make this like a baby crying, you know, and you get in the bottle. I mean, everybody crying, everybody talking about it now. But I mean, just stay aware, stay paying attention in your community, wherever you stay, your town, your city, and um, just get involved and stay involved. Dorsey and Oliver want to emphasize the importance of the issue isn't race versus race, but right versus wrong. And it will take more than one case to solve the underlying issue. Instead of saying three white men, just say three men kill a man. You have to change the mindset of a people. And I don't know how easy that is. But you have to see each other as human beings. You have to see each other as brothers. Oliver also says we have to stop focusing on what separates us, but rather what brings us all together. And when we start focusing on that, then we can take off in the right direction. Back to you, Amanda. All right, Cody, thank you so 